I made $500 in five minutes. I just revealed the gold pocket. Oh my God. Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Welcome if you're new here. My name is Paulie. I'm back at the river where I keep finding gold nuggets. And today is no different because I just found a pocket full of gold. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, before I go down to the river, I thought I'd stop by Andy's work site here, and I'm just gonna block it off with a stick so you can't enter it. He's not gonna be able to get through this. Good luck, Andy. The last time I was out, I was attacked by three ticks, so today, we're getting fully dressed before we hike in. Ticks are no match for this wetsuit. <laughs> I got boo-boo. <gasps> and we're here. This is awesome. The water's really low, which is gonna be great for accessing those deeper spots, so let's get into it. I knew we were gonna find good gold today because of how low the water is. Because it's so low, I'm able to access spots that are normally too deep for me to reach. And the deeper you go, the less chance anybody has worked there before. Just found our first nugget of the day. While removing more bedrock, I kept seeing these tiny pieces of gold, but I didn't film every one. This bedrock is so easy to clean out and it seems to be trapping all the little pieces, but we're not looking for just the little pieces. I floated down to a deeper spot I know of to see if I could find bedrock I could reach. I was able to actually stand in a particular area and fan using my leg arms in an attempt to reveal any potential crevices to work. I did manage to find a piece of gold that was under this bedrock overhang, but I couldn't film it, but you can at least hear it go up the straw. And I kind of just stayed around for a bit to see if I would find anything else, which I did. It always startles me anytime I'm fanning and then a bright piece of gold shows up. Gold looks really good underwater. I just flipped a piece of bedrock open and I found another ticker inside. Whenever you do find gold, it's a good sign that there could be gold around, so it's best you don't give up or leave the area. So I quickly gave up and left the area, but I found a piece of gold that was about to reveal the crevice that was loaded. I did notice another yellow flash, so I was being careful I didn't lose it when I noticed it was sitting with a bunch of others. I was just blowing a little bit of the sand away and then I revealed two nuggets. There was much more than two. I just revealed a gold pocket! Now before I rescue all these poor nuggets, I want to remove all the excess overburden away to have a better look at this crevice. And as soon as I started to dust off the gold, I noticed more gold underneath. You don't come across pockets like this very often, so I'm gonna take my time here and try to really enjoy it. Ooh. 
I know it's a little blurry and I am seeking for a better camera, but this is what's called a stack of gold. Just like a stack of gold coins, a stack of gold nuggets. It's very rare to find, but so sweet when you do. It also may not look like I'm doing anything here, but I'm trying to blow away all the little pieces of sand to reveal the gold even better. I can't believe how much gold is sitting in this pocket. Every time I suck up a piece, there's another one underneath it. Now sucking up one piece at a time may take a little while, but that is a problem I would be happy to pay for. It's just that this snuffer bottle takes a second to reload before you could squeeze it again. So I noticed over 70% of you aren't subscribed to Pioneer Poly. If you want to see more of these videos, please hit subscribe and that bell notification so you don't miss a future upload. So like I was saying, I'm taking my time here to really enjoy this moment. It also helps to make a longer video for those of you who prefer the longer adventures. This type of bedrock is perfect for trapping gold. Often when you break it up, you will find the majority of the gold at the very bottom. And this is why I need a dredge, so I could suck up all this material in a matter of seconds. Plus, at the end of the day, I could clean out the sluice box and see what was actually hiding in this overburden. <laughs> There's more nuggets in here! Oh my god! That's so good! Rewind. I just found all that gold and I'm not even at the bottom yet. I was starting to reach as deep as I could go and the gold looked like it was starting to peter off. Just for context, this is how deep I'm working. Maybe just a couple feet? And I'm sure if I keep following this line of gold down, I'll find more pockets, but there's just way too much overburden piled up now, so I'll have to come back with at least a shovel. I sucked up a couple more pieces that I saw, including another picker, then got out to have a quick break. We're doing really good right now. We're doing a lot better than I thought we would do. I've sniped this part of the river so many times before, but it's like every time you come back after a flood, the river changes and you find new spots to find gold. Before I show you the gold and what we have so far, I'm just gonna catch up to Bailey and see how he's doing. How you do, Ben? Not too bad. Found you, one little piece. One little piece? Tiny. Is it five grams? No. Oh. <laughs> Two ounces. Even though when I'm sniping you don't normally pan, I always bring a pan anyways because it makes this way easier. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh my goodness. He's gonna, Bailey's gonna freak out. He might not, but I sure would. Okay, Bailey. <laughs> what do you think? Holy <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yeah. That is amazing. Oh, <laughs> Bailey's already running off. That inspired him. But that is amazing. That's a lot of gold right there. I like making it into a little pile. It just feels more exciting. So like I said, it's amazing how often you can go to a spot and like think that you, you're very thorough and then you come back like a year later and you're finding more gold. I would say this is probably gonna be five grams or so, but nothing that couldn't fit up my straw. So not a bad problem to have, but uh, I would love to find a million ounce nugget. All right. Ah, almost hit it. I know I don't have to film this part, but yeah, I do. Come on. Oh. I love doing this. 
<laughs> Look at all that candy. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Right there is where I had my break, and I decided to work right here behind this rock, and I found another piece of gold. So right here is where I found that pocket of gold. And I've just moved up a little bit and now I'm working in this section. It looks really good right here so let's see what's there. This spot I know hasn't been disturbed in a long time because of how smoky the water is getting. Over time the silt accumulates in the gravel making it almost impossible to see without a flow of water. And after waiting for the silt to clear I found one little piece at the bottom. I'm not sure where else to go right now. The water's really low, so it's hard to find spots, but I could call it a day right now and I'd be pretty stoked. I went back to mess around in the deeper sections for a bit, maybe to see if I could find anything else worth investigating. And after I moved a bit of these rocks, I did find a little bit more gold, but nothing that would keep me in the spot for long. I ventured up 900 miles upstream to where it was much more shallow and spent a good 10 minutes digging down to bedrock to find one piece of gold. I just found a really nice pothole. I haven't seen any gold come out of it yet, but it's not at the bottom either. I'm pretty sure I've cleaned out this pothole before, but I'm here now, so let's see if any new gold found its way in. Ta-da! One piece of fly poop. So I'm about to call it a day, and I decided to go back to that spot where I found that pocket of gold, and I just continued up just a little bit, and I found another piece of gold. So anytime you find a spot that has a lot of gold, you always want to go back to it to really make sure you're not missing any other pieces. So before I get out of here, I'm going to triple check to make sure I get everything. And just like that, I'm calling it a day. A day. It was a great day. We found a lot of gold. I am getting exhausted. Like, it's still daylight. I'm able to still go around in the water and look for more gold, but I just can't take it. I don't know why. Maybe it's the cold getting to me or I'm just hungry, but that's all I can do today. So let's get out of here and see how much gold we found. Hopefully it was enough to uh, come back. So here is the gold. Ah, there is still gravel in there, but we'll clean that in a second. But just look at that little rock. It is so rocky. So let me dry this quickly and then we'll do the actual way up. So there we is, shiny river candy. I love how almost every piece in here would be considered a picker or a small nugget. I am very happy with this. Let's put it on the scale. So because every piece in here is about the same size, I think I'm just gonna weigh our biggest piece that we found, which would be this guy. It's obviously gonna be eight pounds. 0.48 grams, so not even half a gram. I don't expect any of these pieces to be over a gram, but you never know. Let's just try our thicker piece, right, Mia? Less than half a gram. Yeah, 0.43 grams. So, guess is now 18 ounces. 6.84 grams, so almost 7 grams. That isn't bad considering most of this came out of one crack. Thanks for watching.